Greetings, nerds. We're in the cellar. Bobby Jack, that was for you. Anyway, I just want to give a quick thanks to the 700 plus subscribers that we've gotten. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Um, we are making tracks. <laughs> Get it? Nah, that was pretty bad. Anyway, the purpose of this video is just to kind of show you guys how I clean a cabinet, and which most of you guys already know. But the reason I do that is because I'm trying to save the patina on this cabinet. This cabinet definitely tells a story. It's been places, it's seen things. I want to keep those dings and dents, but I want to get rid of some of the dirt and the grime on here. So I'm just going to show you some of the quick tools I use. I also want to show you how um, one of the construction techniques they used when they were making this cabinet. But first off, here are some of the tools I use. Most of you guys already know this. We've got some simple green, a magic eraser down here at the bottom. I also use a plastic squeegee um, to kind of get rid of, you know, things that may have been adhered to it, like gum or adhesive. I use some Goo Gone to help get rid of the adhesive as well. And sometimes I also use a heat gun for pulling things off, like stickers and decals and tape. That way it doesn't leave any residue behind. When you do get residue left behind, such as this lovely mess, that's when I use Goo Gone to slowly get rid of that. But other than that, I just kind of go to town with some paper towels and magic eraser and civil green, cleaning this thing until the rag is no longer brown. But one of the other things I wanted to show you on this cabinet is how they constructed it. Now, when I was moving around and whatnot, I managed to catch my hand on a nail. And I was like, wait a minute, who put nails on this thing? But it's actually how they constructed it. Now, here you can see the nail hole. This was one of the nails that was actually sticking out and I had to uh, hammer it back in place but as you follow down the line oh look there's another one and what they did is they actually filled put nails in and then filled it and then painted over it now if you look closely there's a couple of places I can find it so if we look really close right here I don't know if you guys can see that right above my finger that is another nail it's starting to come through it hasn't broken through yet but that's where they filled it and if we continue down the line over here, there we go, there's another one right there. So they actually um, put nails in from the outside of this cabinet and then filled over them, which is not something that you would expect to happen, but that's how they were building it. So just things to you know consider when you're restoring yours, what you might encounter uh, if you're restoring a cabinet like this. But there you go, that's just a quick video on, you know, the construction and some interesting things I've come across while cleaning up this Make Tracks Mini. Alright guys, thanks a lot and take it easy.